my brothers from another mother. I'm sitting here on a cold winter day in the lineup waiting to get my car cleaned. And I'm looking at the app Denver Post. And there's a release here from the Detroit Auto Show where the BMW M head Frank Von Mielschwein, Frank Von Miel, just kidding, spoke about the future of the hybridization, is that a word, hybridization and electrification of the M cars. Got to move up a few feet here. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting because that was bound to happen. And I just wanted to record a quick video about it and get some thoughts from you guys because I think it's going to be awesome personally. Um, we've seen we've seen cars receive turbos. We've seen cars with start-stop technology. We've seen everything that they can possibly do to the gasoline-powered vehicle. And, you know, if you guys have been watching my videos from the get-go, you know that I'm a big uh, BMW fanboy. It's just, I don't know, I just like the cars. They, they just have nice balance and uh, power dynamics and all that sort of stuff. But um, I think it's going to be an awesome thing because what we're looking at is the, um, the Holy Trinity. So the LaFerrari, the McLaren P1, and um, the 918 Spider were all basically the first, you know, hybrid supercars that have utilized uh, hybrid technology. And the beauty of it that we've seen is that it, it, it really does help. Like, uh, the 918 is one of the fastest track cars uh, in the world right now, I believe. It's 2017, but it'll quickly get trumped by something soon. Uh, and it's because of the torque fill from the electric motors to the front wheels. Uh, the other two hypercars don't have that. And I suspect, I'm hoping, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, BMW will do the same thing and use the electrification of their M cars, throwing power to the front wheels to kind of pull it around corners, which is really what... Um, hybridization, that's a new word for me, hybridization tends to do um, in performance cars. So the M lineup they're saying, I mean, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hope that the next uh, M3, M4 vehicle comes uh, with a hybrid powertrain. Uh, I think it'll be awesome. It's going to be a sad day, though, when they ultimately discontinue the gasoline, petrol-powered motors in cars. Um, you know, the sounds that engines make the it's just nothing tops it you know i've driven in teslas i've driven teslas and even though they have immense pull and tons of torque from zero they just leave you with the sensation that you're just missing something it's like it's like being with a new girlfriend and she's just not fulfilling you sexually you're just missing some shit and it's just the truth of the matter and i don't know how we're going to get around that maybe that you know maybe the next generation of you know our kids will just be used to the fact that engines make no sound and they're completely quiet. But I think, um, you know, my generation um, and those that have been around gasoline powered engines, uh, it's going to be a sad day, you know, to, to, to see, um, you know, the whole pouring gas in a tank and sucking it into a combustion chamber and compressing it and igniting it and exhausting it and all those sounds and all the mechanical stuff that happen go away. Uh, but you know, such is life. That's where we're going. Everything, everything adapts, everything changes. Um, you know, I talk about becoming a better version of yourself on my channel and all this really is, is the automotive industry becoming a better version of itself. Uh, it's going to clean up, clean up the atmosphere. It's going to give you better performance. It's just, you're, you're just really going to miss out on, um, gas. So live it, live it up guys. Um, the, the day is coming. Uh, the BMW M boss has announced that the hybridization of M cars is coming, uh, which will all ultimately turn into the electrification of M cars, uh, at which point you can say goodbye to the internal combustion engine. Anyway, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, whether or not you're looking forward to that. Leave a comment below, give the video a like. Uh, let me know if you like these kinds of videos, by the way. I did one a few months ago about the upcoming uh, 2017 M5. Uh, some of you guys loved it. Some of you hated it. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos with my thoughts on uh, these new products coming down the line. Leave a comment below, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace!